Okay, this was the Fuller rectifier. Fuller rectifier we have done, right? You have seen the Fuller rectifier already, right? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. Now we will be doing the clippers. This is the page. Let's uh, check all of those, okay? Let's see this one first. This is a diode. I need a resistor. This is my input. This is, this is my output. A and C. This is my input and output. So this is the circuit. This one. So resistor, a diode uh, will be in series but in reverse bias. And let's see whether we get this result or not. You see. Uh, okay. Can you see the result? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you the here. So that's that is our that is our input, and this is our output. Okay. So, okay, let's do this. So this is proven. This is already proved, right? So we get this. Uh, okay, let's try this one. Negative. This was the positive. This is the negative. Okay, let's try this one. Why this is called positive? Because it it cuts away the positive side. This circuit cuts away or clips away the positive side. Negative side side remains. Why this is called, so this is called negative? Because it cuts away the negative side or clips away the negative side. The positive remains. Okay. Now, if I change the diode, like this, this will be a negative clipper, which will cut the negative side, you can see, okay? Positive side is there, but negative side is clips away. Now, next, I want to try this one okay where there is a voltage source in series so let's see battery Battery should be opposite, like that. Let's change the voltage to 5 volt. Now click run. So if I bring them together, 
you will see it is not cut away from the middle. This is the middle, okay? The red one didn't cut away from the middle, it cuts away from the five, okay? Understood? It cuts away from the five. Or if I adjust the position, see, most of the uh, waves are intact, but only few part of the uh, wave, okay? Let's draw it here. Only a few part is gone. This part is gone, not the whole half, okay? You can see here only a few part not the whole only a few part is gone so that is the called uh, biased series clipper this is a uh, uh, positive one positive clipper let's try the negative clipper Okay, which one we want to try? We want to try this one. Okay, we want to try this one. Only a small part will remain. Most of the part will be gone. Okay, let's see. Can you see that? Only a small part remains. The most of the part is gone. Okay? Understood? Okay, sir. Okay. Now, I want to see this one. How? I want to change the voltage. Previously, I changed the diode. Now, I want to change the voltage. Most of the positive part is gone. Only a small negative part is there. Like this. Okay? Because most of the positive part is actually gone. Okay, understood? So what happened here? Most of the positive part is actually clips away. Only a small negative part is remain is remaining. So you can see that. So if we change the diode now, Understood what happens? Only a small part of negative is gone. This one. Now again, if you do not understand what I am doing or why I am doing so fast, uh, you do not have to worry. You will just open the Proteus and simulate all the circuits. You will see that. Okay, it is very easy. You do not have to worry. Just open the book and see the circuit and simulate. Now let's go and Try this one, okay? Uh, biased parallel clippers. This one. I want to try this one.
Okay, this is my circuit. Let's try. Okay, only a small part of the positive side is actually gone. This one, you can see. The whole part remains, only a small part of the positive is gone, right? Like that. Now, um, I want to try this one. So, I, I will reverse the diode. As you can see, only a small part of the positive remains. The most of the negative part is gone. Which one I tried? Which one I tried? I tried actually this one. Okay, uh, because diode is at the at the, uh, the for uh, the reverse side and the voltage is positive. I actually tried this one, not this one, because the the di uh, the voltage is opposite here. Okay. Now, if I change the voltage, now you can see only a small negative part is actually gone, like this one. The most of the positive part is there, only a small negative part is actually gone. So, if I try this one now, you will see. Change the diode. Understood? Like this. Okay. Now the uh, the most trickiest one will be this one. Trickiest. Okay. Diode down, voltage up, diode up, voltage down. That one. Let's try. As you can see, it clips away from both of the side. Okay, so which one will ch control which one? So if I change the voltage, if I change the voltage of this one, you see, if I make it uh, eight volt, you will see only a small part of the positive is actually changed. Okay, so what happened? This voltage. This voltage change the positive part. Okay. Now, if I change these, uh, let's say to two volt, you will see two volts remains. Okay. It cuts away at the two volt. But this one, that means the negative side remains unchanged. So if I change the negative. Let's make it, um, let's say 9 volt. You will see it cuts away at the 9 volt here. Okay, so this one will control the negative portion, this one will control the positive portion. Okay, understood? So this one positive portion, it will be controlling positive portion. This one will be controlling the negative portion. Okay, so now you understood positive and negative. I believe.
understand my point hello yes sir yes sir yes sir okay wait a minute Okay, I want to design a uh, battery charger. Okay, I want to design a 220 volt to 5 volt uh, mobile phone, constant 5 volt mobile phone charger. Because you see, your mobile phone charger is actually constant 5 volt, right? Your mobile phone charger is 5 volt, right? Right? You know it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, sometimes what happened? Uh, our voltage goes up. Our voltage goes down. But our 5 volt charger should give us a constant 5 volt because uh, voltage goes up, voltage goes down. This is a very common uh, problem in Bangladesh or actually in, in the world. But your voltage of your mobile phone charger cannot vary, right? This should be fixed. Why? Because if it, if it varies, your mobile phone will be, uh, will be damaged after some moment. So I will be trying, uh, I will be doing a mobile phone charger thing. Okay. Now let's try, let's see. I want to make a mobile phone charger. See, so I need a V sign because this is the 220 volt, right? Let's amplitude 220 volt. The frequency should be 50 because our uh, normal AC voltage is 220 volt. And our frequency is 50, 50 hertz. Let's click OK. Now I need diodes. Let's make a full rectifier. Oh, by the way, before that, I need to reduce the voltage because if I make a full rectifier from this, I will be getting uh, 69 volt, right? Because 0 0.636, remember? Or not 69 volt. I will be getting 132 volt. But if I use a half a rectifier, I will be getting. 60 uh, 69 volt well, that is huge so i need to step down the voltage by using a transformer so let's use a transformer this is a simple transformer i want to make the voltage smaller so in your mobile phone charger, there is a transformer always, remember. So I want to make the voltage smaller. So how do I do that? I want, this is 220 volt. I want my voltage to be around 10 volt. Wait a second. Wait a second, please. Okay. Uh, so I want 220 volt to 10 volt. Why 10 volt? Because uh, I at the at the end I want 5 volt, right? Obviously I want 5 volt. So I need more than 5 here. So that the, if there is a loss, if there's something, if there is something, so I will get at least at least 5 volt. Okay. So from 220 to 10 volt. So there there is a coupling factor you can see coupling factor. So coupling factor you have to change. For the transformer, you have to change the coupling factor. Coupling factor means secondary voltage. It means the output voltage divided by input voltage. There is a ratio. Okay. Let's find the ratio. 10 divided by 220. 10 divided by 220. The value is 0.4. Yeah, 0.45, right? Okay, let's write 0 0.05, not 4.5, let's write 0 0.05, because I want at least 10. So if I give 0 0.05, I will get more than 10. So what I will do, click. I will double click this and I will bring the coupling factor and I will write 0 0.05, okay? 
that's it now you will see the uh, now nah, okay let's try let's try the okay let's try the oscilloscope this is the what this is the out this is the input let's try the output and see the voltage okay let's see the cursor let's go and see this voltage is 110 why this is 110 it should be 220 this is 5.05 .05. no i want double amplitude is 10 volt okay then what happened okay maybe the ground is the problem Yeah, now it's okay. Now, if I check the voltage, the voltage here is 220, right? 220 for the yellow one. Now, if I check the blue, it is uh, it is 11 volt. Can you can you see that? It is 11 volt. 11 volt is okay. So we need actually more than 11. Now we need actually more than 5. So it is 11. Okay. No problem. So I stepped down the voltage. 220 volt to 11 volt or 10 volt. Now I need a diode uh, rectifier. Okay. Let's uh, make a fuller rectifier. I need a diode that is upward. Downward. Downward. Upward. I need a resistor that will hold here. This is the full rectification, right? Now I need to use a capacitor to, so that the output. Okay, let's uh, let's actually try this. Let's see that output. This is my what? This is my input. The final that means actual actual input. This one, the big input, right? Very big input. This one. This is 110 because we do not have any ground. Let's give the ground. This is 220 actually. Now I do not want to see the 220 because I know it is 220. I want to see these. This is 11 volt. Okay. Now I want to measure these now. So it is, uh, it is what it is. It become DC now, okay? So what is the voltage here? Highest value? Nine point six, maybe. Yeah, nine point six. And it is, uh, it is rectified. It become full rectifier, okay? Full rectified. Now I want to change the. I want to make the voltage flatter. So if I want to make the voltage flatter, what 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 I have to do? I have to use a capacitor. Let's use a capacitor. cap pole so let's bring the capacitor here double click change the value to let's say 22 microfarad uh, it is okay you can use 100 microfarad as well so if i go wait a second
okay now uh, then this portion will go and will be connected here okay this portion will be our ground now i want to check the uh, dc voltage how much voltage i am going to get so if i check the dc voltage you will see i am getting 8.26 8.25 volt right 8 point, this is DC actually, this is DC voltage. Now it is not changing, it is actually a fixed value. 2.6, 2.5 is okay, uh, 8.2625 is, uh, is fixed. Now what will happen if my voltage goes down? Yeah, because it, it can go down, it can go down up to 180. It can go down up to 180. So it becomes 6.55. Still it is more than 5, right? Okay. Now if I, if this thing goes to 240, you are getting 9.11 okay that's common because if it goes goes up this one the voltage here goes up the voltage here goes up and voltage here also goes up if this thing goes down voltage here goes down voltage here goes down so final value will go down okay but we do not want that we want a fixed constant value so what we are going to do we are going to introduce one more thing that is an ic okay click p that is 7805 this is a very powerful and very useful ic that that is yeah, that, that that is that is using that is used uh, in most of the uh, fixed 5 volt cases so here what will happen you will give value more than 5 but you will get a 5 volt 1 ampere output fixed always whatever the voltage here is do not have to worry you will get 5 volt constant if it is 6 volt you will get 5 volt if it is 7 volt you will get 5 oh no no yeah you have to ensure that your input is 7 volt at least 7 because the input here is 7 to 24 maybe i forgot 7 to 24 volt so if you give 7 volt you will get 5 volt if you give 10 volt you will get 5 volt if you give 12 volt you will get 5 volt so whatever the voltage you are going to give you will get 5 volt fixed so this is the input, this is the ground, this is the output. Remember, you should use a capacitor. In the input side and then the output side. The input side has already a capacitor. Uh, let's use one more. Uh, 10 microfarad is fine. For input, you can use 10 microfarad as well. No problem. Now, let's check it. See, 5 volt, right? 5 volt. It is 5 volt. So, you are getting fixed value, 5 volt. So, double click. If I change the voltage to 220, let me see if the voltage goes, down, goes normal. You will get 5 volt fixed. If the voltage goes down, let's say 190 still you will get 5 volt no 4.7 maybe because we need to change the coupling factor to a bit a bit bigger no see 5 volt right so if your voltage goes down let's say 180 no 1 You're supposed to get 5 volt. Yeah, you will get 5 volt. If your voltage goes up, let's say uh, 240 or 250, not 25, 250, you will get 5 volt. So whatever the voltage is, uh, whatever the voltage here doesn't matter. You will still get 5 volt. Okay. Understand? So this is your charger circuit. This is your input. This is your output. Okay. This is your mobile phone charger circuit. Understood? Yes, sir. So can you make it if I give you one? Can you make it? 
this circuit. This circuit? Yes, I try. Okay, you try. Uh, you, uh, let's see whether you can make the circuit uh, using half wave rectifier or not, okay? okay? This is a full wave rectifier. You use a half wave rectifier for making the exact same circuit. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay, let's wait. Uh, let's give you five minutes. Make the circuit. Okay, my dear? Yes, sir. 